Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures, and it's time for our weekly painting progress. So, we got a bunch of stuff printed, painted, and worked on because my family's going to be coming home pretty soon, and I'm going to need to pay attention to them. So I had tried to squeeze out a bunch of stuff before they got in, and I even got some stuff from Mr. Percival Sparkle Trout as well, which is what we got right here. This is totally not a predator. Nope. Totally not. This comes just from Papsicles. Papsicles Minis has been putting out all sorts of uh, aliens that look like this. If you are into that kind of thing. That is a 40 millimeter base. It's on here. Quite large. No sparkle Trout really got into those. We have both a masked and unmasked version. Nice highlighting there. I had a couple I printed up for myself as well, but I had absolutely no idea what colors to use. So at least, I, now that I've seen his, I, I've got a nice idea of where I want to go with that. Give you guys just a size indicator here. I don't know if I ever did a video on these. Anyway, Papsicles has got tons of these guys. If you're into those types of aliens, or if you're into aliens in general, especially pop cultural aliens, uh, definitely give them a look. Now, my favorite that he got done this week, and probably the simplest, uh, but in honor of everyone's favorite manga coming back, we've got Bazuso, I believe was his name, from early on in the Berserk manga. This is from RNS Studio. They did a homage to my favorite manga, as well as many other people's, a few months back. I believe those files should be on my mini factory if you're interested in printing one of these out yourself for Guts type characters or anybody basically from the Berserk saga. Of course, if you don't know where to look, we always have those links down below. And Bazuso is quite the portly fellow here, also on a 40 millimeter base in good company, correct? So, I think Sparkle Trout stuff came out quite nice, and mine not so much. I just kind of went through the motions and got things finished. Recently I was doing a video on some of the mutant corrupted people from Lord of the Print. This guy came out a lot darker than I would have liked. But I'm like, yeah, it's good enough. That one I didn't care for. I thought the sword arm guy here fared a little better. I think the play of the colors definitely helps. I think I need to lighten that other guy up, especially his face. I can't tell if it's supposed to be a skull or an actual face underneath that hood. This guy went through multiple paint apps as well. Definitely some fun stuff if you want yourself a grim dark experience on the tabletop. Some very dark horror-ish themes. These guys would pair quite nicely. Well, this whole set would pair quite nicely with some of the stuff from Bestiarum. And speaking of Bestiarum, a model I've had on the table for some time. This was from their Gladiator set. And I had at first thought these were supposed to be horns and it's actually a pair of hands. Could I have done a better job? Absolutely. This guy has sat unfinished and unloved for some time. He actually could have fit probably on a 30 millimeter base. He's on a 40. He is massively tall. Taller than even Bazuso. And one of these days, I had my brother, Sparkle Drop, uh, print up a small arena for me and I've almost got that finish. He's always harping at me not finishing any terrain so I'm gonna actually try to get some terrain done. So hopefully we can have some blood and spectacles in the near future. I like this guy. I'm glad I got him finally finished and I'm gonna have to get to work on some of the other gladiator models that Bestiarum did. Or just Bestiarum models in general. I've got a bunch of stuff sitting around like should have these guys posted up soon. The new fishmonger set. Anyway, uh, for whatever reason, I decided to go back and try to finish up some of my historical stuff. 
I have been very frustrated in not being able to get a hold of the Cataphracti toy, Cataphract toy, from Parabellum. In fact, it just seems really challenging to get a lot of the Old Dominion stuff, at least where I am. So I went ahead and painted up some of the Gripping Beast Cataphract toy that I've got. Of course, I didn't do a good job of, well... Didn't do a great job of painting them, didn't do a great job of basing them, and didn't do a good job of gluing them. They're very lopsided looking. You can see this guy especially, but maybe they're just turning their horse. Doesn't help that I snapped part of his base where he's supposed to be standing. I don't want to mess it up even more, so we'll just leave things as they are. I like these models, though. They're simple, they're fun, and in the least amount of work ever... Uh, this was one of the Germanic tribes people's dogs from Warlord's SPQR line. I have been slowly trying to work my way through that set. I did try to highlight it. Not that you can tell now, but hey, at least I found where I put my static graphs. I'm happy about that. Hide a little bit of the lumpy hill area where their integrated base was. All right, uh, this guy's gonna need a little bit of touch-up work. This is another of the Elves of Ineath from Durgan Paint Forge, who I think still has a Kickstarter going. I'm gonna double check. I know for this newest one, it was more painting size, larger scale stuff. And I'm still kind of tempted to pick up some more of the STL files. Really fun models, very characterful. I feel like I need to go back. There's actually a face on his shadow. I want to say this was called the silence, something like that, but you can see like I totally missed some spots. Unfortunately, my lights that I was using at the time just were not hitting it right. And I couldn't notice those little unpainted spots. There's a few here and there on this guy. I'm gonna have to go back and fix those. That's not a big problem. Of course, I had accidentally cut off, and I think I mentioned this in the video, I had accidentally cut off the connection point between his gauntlet and his cloak. There's a little spot, little tiny limb there that's actually for his arm. Unfortunately, cut it right off. Not the smartest thing, but yeah. So I don't know. Now that he's glued on, I think getting in there to paint those eyes or the teeth or the face, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. But maybe I need to just go back and highlight it with a lighter purple, I think. That would look decent. Got that done. And, you know what, I don't think I ever put a video up on these guys. The Beast Snagga, Squid Riders, Squid, Squig. I didn't do the best job, and I just realized that's supposed to be a different part there, but that's okay. I didn't know what to do with the little rockets. I tried doing some chevrons, or, uh... Safety lines, it didn't look very good. I just painted over it. I figured if I did them all straight red, it was just going to be too much. I need a little bit of color in there. We got two of them done. I think this guy came out better. His eyes look kind of goofy, but that's okay. I like the Beast Snaggers. I don't think I've ever posted any videos. Maybe I haven't. I've completely forgotten. I know I post a lot of videos. It'd be nice if more people watched them. It's crazy, like, what a... Almost 7,500 subscribers, but it's like some of the videos only get like a couple hundred views. And I, I don't know. I don't know. The analytics don't really help me. And if you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve things or get more viewers, that would be great. I'd love to have more eyes on this stuff. And as promised, another week, another Kingdom Death model. This is another of the Halloween models. Uh, this is, I don't remember her name, but obviously she's dressed up as the Gorm who is still sitting unpainted and unfinished in front of me for many years now. Someday. Hopefully I'll have another one of these. And I've been trying to figure out what to do with my Phoenix armors. We're slowly getting there. I think they're the last of the actual armor kits other than the unarmored stuff from my base pledge. So, progress is progress. And finally, my favorite of the bunch, I didn't do the best job, um, it was... <laughs> Very much a work-as-we-went model, but that is one of the Centaur Avatara from Parabellums. I didn't know what to do with it. I knew I wanted to have a purplish color, and I wanted it to look as garish and as strange as possible. 
I don't know. It doesn't help that he's got that shield in the way of his face and the banners in the way of his mane or his headdress or whatever it is. But this thing has so much going on for it. I'm happy with the weird color. I, I mean, to me, I was like, these things are just the perfect Chaos Cavalry. Uh, even more so than the Ever Chosen. I loved the Ever Chosen kit when it came out. I, mean, I, I think this still, it's a cool looking kit. It was super overpriced, I thought, for what you're getting. But, I mean, just <laughs> look at it in comparison. This dude is just monstrous. And, I mean, even the Ever Chosen were pretty big when they came out. And then if I get, like, our, our little nice cataphract toy, <laughs> it's so tiny. Yeah. When people tell you scale creep is not a thing, you can show them this this part of the video because yeah yeah it is but it's kind of cool I, I totally dig the avatar and i still honestly one of these days if i ever get around to playing conquest in its big rank and file version i would love to do an avatar army um i like the idea that they were all supposed to be you know these synthetic remotely controlled things uh, that the spires are, you know, basically they're 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 basically like that grown drones, even more so. They're remote control drones, I should say. If I remember correctly, they they implant their brains and then they just go to town in there. So I'm gonna probably eventually uh, get around to the other two that were included in that box since they're both built. And I don't know, should I have them follow a similar paint scheme or should I just have them all bonkers garish? totally different looking i don't know what do you guys think i would love to hear your guys' opinions uh slowly but surely we are getting all those avatar finished i know i've done so many of these models in so many videos and i've got so much to go but i do make progress slowly but surely we do make progress so that's always a good thing speaking of progress i have been trying to plug away at some of the big stuff. Uh, I know I've been working on the big shark dude from Archvillain Games. And it's taken me some time. So I might not have, like I said, with the added advantage of my family being back in town, I'm probably not going to have a whole lot done. But that's okay. Sometimes there's going to be weeks where we don't get a whole lot finished. But that's a nice little spread of models, I gotta say. And like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in tracking down any of these yourself, we'll have links down there below, as well as our link to our Patreon, where if you enjoy this channel and would like to see it continue to prosper, your uh, generosity is always appreciated. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you guys back here soon. Bye-bye.